Hey guys, and welcome back to Reigns Games. Gonna continue that campaign that we had going on from the doobity doo that let's look video that I had. I don't know. Not gonna call this a series, just casually uploading episodes of this as I feel like playing it. So I'm gonna start by going to the land auction. Because that's what you should do. Gonna pick. Whichever one they don't pick. So, personally, I wanna go here. I wanted to go where this guy's at. But, uh, damn Ricardo. Being an asshole. So let's go here. Yes. Alright, so I think for now I'm going to save up my money. One of the mistakes I realized while doing another campaign, I didn't lose, I actually just restarted it so I could do the whole video thing. One of the biggest mistakes I made was not saving money. This is one of those games that you benefit from knowing what comes in the future. For sure. Oh, neat. Well, if you want to know how many upgrades there were. I didn't realize that uh, you could open up these sheets either. The game doesn't really tell you that. I mean, there's nothing even here indicating that there would be a drop-down scroll. But anyways, uh, so the only upgrades available to us are width 2, size 2, branch 2, and timer 2. As much as I would want branch 2, I'm not going to get that. Let's just go dig. From now on, levels will run from January 1st to June 30th. Gives us a little bit more time. Shut up. So now I have right ink. If you recall from the first Let's Look video, we only had left ink. This is the second dig. It's weird playing a game where I don't actually have to move the... anything. Alright, so without wasting too much time, this probably isn't going to be too far down. I have a bad habit of games with a speed control. I wouldn't say of using it, I mean, the attention of a speed control is to use it. That's going down 68. There we go. I was kind of just trying to stall them, to be honest. Nice. Okay. Selling over on the right pretty well. Gonna get another surveyor. A dowser. Sorry. I feel like it's the same thing now. About put down a wagon on accident. Gotta really keep an eye on those prices. Somewhere we will meet these guys in the middle of the road on the prices. And by the time they get there, the prices will have increased, so we will do that, I guess. So we're selling at 93 right now, and it's only going higher. If I can avoid building a silo to start off with, I mean, it's only 250. You know what? It's it's only 250. We're gonna get another surveyor because it's only 100. But for now, we have enough stuff. About the only thing I would benefit from is maybe I don't know how much profit I can get off of this. So what we're gonna do is build that. Because it looks like a pretty decent node. I'm going to get one more wagon. I shouldn't have done that because these look like they're potentially emptying out. Really got to watch those prices, guys. The money you get early on is... 
Too good to pass up. Wow, look at that. Selling for 147, 48, 49, 50, 51. That's pretty amazing. This well is empty, so those wagons are going to free up and start coming over here. We're going to meet up around like 85. Yep. So as that goes up, let's just sell it there. I'm going to get as much oil out as I can. So being the last month, I don't want to store any of it. It's kind of why I didn't want to build the tank, because I could have saved 250. But building this extra well was probably the best thing I could have done. Sorry, rig. Whatever. Also, with the background, it's really hard to read this. Being a white text. Anyways. So we are selling at 90. There was a huge oil thing here. Unfortunately, our dowser didn't tell us that. But we made 11,000. I, well, we'll see what happens. Nice to meet you. I'm on board a bit of a handyman. I'd like to experiment. I like to exper experiment. Wow, words are difficult. With stuff that can help you find oil, make sure to check out my inventions. Sure thing, man. So, depth 2 is pretty good and speed 2 is pretty good. I probably overuse moles for 10,000. But the moles can kind of help you bypass the whole needing for depth thing early on. But I'm going to get the speed and the depth. So now we find uh, pockets of oil faster. Nodes or whatever. And they can also check lower into the ground. And next time we come back, there will be a stable built where we can get upgrades for our horse and carriage. Mainly just the uh, the wagon itself, but whatever. So off to the land auction, see if we picked a good spot. We did. We picked a 47. Okay, that's just color. So... Seeing as this is a 47, that's a 46, and this is a 47. If I- oh man, she's gonna take that spot. What a bitch. We'll pick this one. I don't really want to really fight them for that spot. This is either going to be a 30, or it's going to be a higher number than a 47. So, like, his node could be a 50, and mine could, in theory, be a 50. Either that or it's dropping off. Because this is a 46, which means this number here is likely lower. Especially if we're taking like averages or something. I don't know how it how it works it all out, but like this one over here having been a 37. I'm guessing hers probably isn't the greatest. It's probably dropped off from whatever the high number up here is. Like this could be 47 right here. And this could be 37 because these other three nodes are quite low. But let's just go ahead and freaking dig. Let's not talk about it anymore. So we had 12,865, but we have 800. Sorry, 10,000. Shut up! I hate how they tell you these things. When you specifically bought the upgrades for that reason. I'm just tapping the speed up button here. So remember they can see lower, so we want to go smaller chunks at a time. Let's go ahead and store it for right now. Get this rig going. Storing it right now is kind of dangerous, but left ink is going up, so... Wouldn't be too bad. And we did have enough for one more wagon, so that's actually perfect. Uh, now that this is up at 90, let's go ahead and start selling. Sell, sell, sell all that oil. Go ahead and drop a wagon on that well just to make sure that we don't spill over anything dumb. Selling for 130 or higher is pretty great. Some spare money drop a dozer on the right side. The reason I drop it off where there's no rigs is because hopefully they can find something over here. Man, did they tweak these values or something? Because... Nice. 
I don't think the width of any of these nodes actually means anything. But this could potentially be massive. So both of these guys are actually going to be selling for quite the profit. All right, we've met at 115. Let's go ahead and do that. We still have this dowser looking. There's a chance he could find something. And he did. Excuse me. Just really got to watch those prices, guys. You don't want to speed up to where you're losing profit. He either found the same node or there's another node down here. And he found a different one. Means, I don't know, for every one of these, I like to get two. Yeah, branch limit reached. Mm. Okay, what, I'll do that. And if this one drains out, then I'll put it over here on this one on the right. Although the way this appears to maybe curve down, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, okay. So prices, like I said, guys, I don't really sell below 60. They're going to start storing that. That should last for a minute with all the stuff that we have and start selling above 80. Really keep an eye on the pumps. Remember, we're only going to June, so... If we can make the 300 back that we sold that on, and more, we just need to get all the stuff out of our tanks. And as much out of the things as we can. So we're just going to sell it for whatever it's selling for. We are at the end of June, so just pump, 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 keep it going. So I was right, that was pretty big. We spent 6,000 and made 21,000. So we almost made four times as much. But I mean... Oh, uh, we, we doubled our profits, so that's fine. Fifteen thousand could afford us an upgrade. As well as... Pretty comfortably starting the next couple levels. So, this is... Rainer, I guess. Every time I say that name, I think of StarCraft 2, but... We can get a counter for 5,000, which tells us how many horses we have, because we are currently able to... Uh, we currently have 15 horses available. It's nice that it lets us know. Uh, we could get more, like, a larger size. It's like 750 to upgrade your wagon so they can hold more. Uh, that's per level, by the way. You have to dump 750. So you better hope that you have a good haul if you're going to do that, because that's a pretty big investment. But it's also a good investment because if you have a lot of oil, you can hold more oil. You need less wagons than you normally would, and you hope, hopefully, can make that like 750 back or whatever it is. And then uh, a counter. It's literally just 5,000 for a quality of life thing. But right now, 15 horses is totally enough. I'm just going to save up. I have 26,000. Width two could be nice, but I don't know. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to get width too, but I'm just not going to get anything else. I wanted to save up. But I obviously didn't, so yeah. Let's just go to the town hall. Let's get another land auction. Let's see what these numbers were. So I was right, these 247s and these 246s meant that this was a 48. Because this either had to be higher or of same value, considering these were both 47s. This is a 49, and this being a 46... And that a 48 means I would really love to go here. And I will fight somebody for the spot. Since this number goes up to a 48 and this number goes up to a 49, I can only assume that the numbers between the 48 and the 49 are like a 50. So if you watched the Let's Look At video, you would understand that I kind of related this to Minesweeper. I was never good at Minesweeper, but I understand the logic behind it. I'm just not patient enough, as you can see. Be constantly speeding up time. So, we're good. We have 17,000. 
I'd like to make fifteen to twenty thousand on this level. Only tap the buttons here. Like I said, you can still speed up the game if you hold X, or in this case, tap X. You don't have to... Shut up. Uh, we're going down and we're going up on the left, so let's just sell it. So this is a small note, it's pretty obvious because it starts curving in. I don't remember the difference between concave and convex or whatever it is. But it's whichever one goes outwards. None of these like dip inwards and then pop back outwards that I've seen. They're all kind of like hexagons and sphericals. Spheroids? I just... Steroids? I, I don't know. I don't like the June 30th limit though. You make so much more bank later on. I could do with another wagon though. That is for sure. Also made a mistake by not getting some dowsers because this is going to dry itself up and this could also be a small node. Oh. I wanted to make sure I canceled that because just need to make sure that we continue to... Is right side going up or down? It doesn't matter. They're selling it even now so... We need to get this oil pumping. If I feel one of these are a decent size... Go ahead and get us another one of these. Uh, for that price, I'm totally willing to do that. And you can also kind of like... Dig down a little bit. I shouldn't have done that. I should have actually just used this guy to find it. Uh, pretty soon I'm just going to start storing my oil, because... Am I, like, barely hitting the node? Is that the problem? I don't know. Alright. Disaster averted. <laughs> we started like losing. Jeez, I forgot. Uh, so obviously making your pumps larger means that you're going to use more horses, which is where the wagon upgrade might actually come in handy. Trying to find out how large this is, if it's... Yeah. So, that should help that out a little bit. So that looks like it might be the bottom. Yeah, that's the bottom because you can see that kind of dips in. This is the last month, so let's get as much oil as we can out of it. This is trending upwards at a lot more. So we are at 15 horses right now. Nope. Stop it. Why? Why are we spilling? Like, two of these are out. We should not be spilling. No, stop trying to branch into it as well. Like, what I'm trying to do is dig out of this one. God damn it. Yeah. I mean, that spillage fine wasn't that big of a deal, but I'm still sad about it. And, you know, obviously I am playing through these levels a bit uh, fast. I think we did three levels in this video. Once we pick up to the year-round levels where it goes from the 1st to December 31st, um, we can only probably do like two in 20 minutes. And I have to start thinking about other things like uh, upgrades a little bit more than... We might take a little bit longer. Hi, welcome to my bar. Make yourself comfortable and mingle with the crowd. They may have some interesting offers for you. So Daphne's bar. This is obviously Daphne. Looks like a man. Uh, insert, um... I was gonna make a, a Jenner joke here, but let's not. So, there's three visitors in Daphne's bar. 
Let's just move on. We have Kyle, William, and Barney. Kyle says, tired of low prices, slip me some cash. And the price of left ink will never go below 94 cents next year. Holy shit, guys. This is going to be a great next episode. Because that means left ink is always going to offer 94 cents. And that's only 9,000. So if you think about it, the whole level is going to be getting me over 94 cents. And Barney, I'll look the other way at the coming year if you spill. 550, I'm going to buy both of these. And William, what does he want? Interest. Fuck him. So, <laughs> we are going to have a great next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay positive. Have yourselves a great day. I forget how my outro works. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever this is called. It's turmoil. That's it. Oil jokes. Bye-bye.